Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab and you are watching a video about the World of Warcraft 0.7 beta client. I've already covered the fairly well known 0.5 alpha client as well as the not so well known 0.8 beta client but here you are looking at the long forgotten 0.7 beta client from June the 11th 2004. This version is very much a transition between the rather rough 0.5 alpha client and the 1.0.1 retail release. Most things were as they were or had been changed to what they would end up being for release. Now that's not to say there's nothing to look at so let's do that right now. One of the first things you'll notice is that these two characters have the words tired and normal by their names. This is due to the rest state system that was in place at the time. It's similar to the system that is in place now where if you log out in an inn or a city you'll gain bonus experience from killing monsters of a certain amount of time when you log back in. This version of the game has had three tiers, rested, normal and tired. You could log out anywhere in the game for the bonus to build up, but it would build up quicker if you logged out at an inn. Prior to this system, the tired player state would actually half your experience points gained while playing. The next big thing that I found was that this was the first version of World of Warcraft to support 1920 by 1080 resolution. Every version of the client prior to this only supported a maximum resolution of 1600 by 1200. Most computer monitors were still the old square shaped screens and not the wide screens that we have as standard today. Onto the game world and here is an example of an area that was being finished. The 0.5 version of the Altar of Storms was still very much untextured and very grey to look at as you can see on screen here. But by the time 0.7 version rolled around a lot of work had been done to get this area finished. You can see it's not completed yet but clearly some work has been done. Now we have a far more recognisable area and that's the opening area of Ironforge. As you can see here in this 0.7 beta client there is no auction house directly opposite the bank. I'm sure most of you are more than familiar with how the release version looks but here it is anyway. So the 0.7 version was clearly going through development but was in a much later state than it was in 0.5 because the Great Forge here in this version is the same as we saw in release and very different to the strange setup that we had in 0.5 alpha client. We'll come back to looking at areas in a moment because I want to add some variation to the video by looking at different resistances. You know the schools, Shadow, Frost, Nature, Fire and Arcane. Not here in 0.7 though, Shadow, Frost, Nature, Fire and Holy because in this version it's actually the Pope who is the final boss of Max. So back to the world environments and there's no lava around Black Rock Mountain. That's clearly not been put in yet because when you look around the release versions there's clearly a lot of lava. Around on the other side of the mountain and the cauldron has a very different colour palette as well as some different features. The real big difference here though is the slag pit. Here on 0.7 the slag pit is just filled with female twitch streamers. <laughs> But really, here on 0.7, the slag pit is just a stock cave with no features beyond that. It was yet to be recrafted into the slag pit that we saw in the release version. While we are talking about Black Rock Mountain though, it's worth noting that this was an actual place on the map. It had its own entry in the map log. Another place that had its own log on the map was Scolomance. It wasn't built by this point, but it was clearly in the minds of Blizzard. Gilla Jim's Isle had been removed from the game after having been present in the 0.5 version. Now, although the mini-map will still so show the name of the location, all that is there by this point is water. On the other side of the world, Ratchet was close to being finished, but it still had some differences. On the pier, there is a large board pointing up into the air, which I imagine was used to board ships that had higher entrances at this point. When you head towards the town, the main buildings are in a slightly different location to how they finished up as. They seem to be shifted to the north a little bit when compared to their retail counterparts. A place Blizzard was still clearly working on was Karazhan. It was placed well out the way so you couldn't reach it but by using speed tricks I could not only reach it but get inside too. It's a big grey area of untextured blocks. The area inside here is quite large so I'll speed through the footage so I can show you quite a bit off.
The last section I want to show you is Hellfire Peninsula. Now, although that wasn't actually introduced until the Burning Crusade, Blizzard were working on it in a big way. Although all the work that you can see here was scrapped and the actual Hellfire Peninsula that we saw was totally different to this. But the basic idea was still the same. A barren fell bleach zone that was devastated and twisted. What is on offer here is far from finished but hints to the possibility that maybe Blizzard were going to introduce this area in a different way to how they eventually did but more of that in a future video so from now I hope that's all been interesting Abba. <laughs>